Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today we're gonna to be looking at these two smokers and seeing what they got to offer. You guys stay tuned. This is gonna be good. And of course, check it out. So if you're new to the channel, guys, do me a favor. Hit that little subscribe button right there. You know and click on that bell you know those i would really really appreciate it you know things like that really help the channel so let's talk about the insulated vertical smoker right out the door when you look at it it's massively impressive just a very well built very well designed beautiful smoker i would say stainless steel uh door covers on it uh you know tell true gauge which is standard comes you know with it uh, I did get the off-road package with this one so and the competition cart so it does have the little shelf that goes over here on the side and it's got the nice well-built uh, you know I guess I would call them golf cart wheels uh, for it um, very very nice if there was one thing that I would you know suggest to to Lone Star Grills you know, right here with this shelf and maybe they, they will do it uh, you got real estate in here you can put you a couple of hinges blocking mechanism and put you a, a bottom drawer in there and you can get you a, you can put you a shelf inside inside right here where you can store you know uh, you know your cooking accessories temp probes digital probes you know and and whatever else you want to store in there but the shelf is fixed uh, does have another shelf down here on the bottom for where you can put your charcoal at and and, and wood uh, as well um, so very well built uh, it's got a nice pull handle uh, as well and it's easily maneuverable that's that's the one thing i like about this smoker is that i can maneuver it fairly easy so uh, the dimensions on it let's talk about the dimensions I'm not measuring all the way from the from the ground because it's obviously the wheels uh, bring it up some. I'm measuring from the bottom of uh, the bottom part of the firebox, you can say. So the height of it is a little bit over four foot, about four, you know, 48 and a quarter inches from the bottom of the firebox to the top. Uh, the front of it, it's about uh, 34 and a quarter inches as well and the depth of it now i'm not measuring to the front of the door i'm just measuring to the front of the of the cabinet uh 28 and a quarter inches so those are those are your dimensions let's look at the the, the dimensions of the door okay door 31 and a half the main chamber is about the door 30 and a half and the thickness here's the impressive part the thickness of this door man it's uh, about inch and a half okay a little bit over inch and a half thick that door okay so it's a very thick door you know it, and it's obviously um, not solid it's probably quarter inch steel uh, with this stainless steel cover on top of it and then on the inside of it is uh, Insulated I think what they what I've heard them say is insulated with military grade type insulation So holds up pretty good if it's good for the military it's, it's good for everybody else. I guess all right, but that's what they use uh, Inside the smoker for insulation. We'll start off with looking at the firebox the door down here in the bottom same thickness as the top door it's got these nice uh, locking latching doors you know latches just like you know slam latches i think is what they're called and the basket is made up of two parts uh, you got the basket where the charcoal sits and it's got a built-in ash pan in it as, as well so that's the size of the basket it's a big basket guys 22 inches by 24 inches and the depth of it is five inches okay so that's the that's the size of the basket and you can fit in the large uh, basket two 40 pound bags of charcoal and that I don't know what you're cooking but 
you know you can fit that much in it uh, maybe if you're you know what what that would be ideal for uh, for really long cooks or maybe a weekend cooking if you're going to be cooking in a competition that goes over a weekend you can just fill that bad boy and it'll run you you know for hours i haven't tested it myself but i think uh with it full to the brim and running it i think it's 250 or 225 you can get about 30 hours of smoke time out of it is, is what they're saying but i i haven't tested that myself yet maybe maybe i'll do that in a video in the future you know these plates are, are folded this way if you can see and the, the the intent for it is to be able to create you know um, a path for the charcoal to burn in so you can set these inside and create like an s shape in it and start in one corner and let the fire work in a s pattern you know throughout the throughout your smoking process on the inside of the firebox it has uh, a deflector plate because right above the deflector plate uh, is the water pan you know and you can use this as a water smoker uh, if you wanted to if you intend to use it as a as a as a water smoker um, I don't know if that deflector plate is would be necessary if you're going to be using it as a as a water smoker but if you're not uh, I highly recommend getting that deflector plate even though the water pan can serve as a deflector plate in itself but remember the killer to all these things is is, is heat the more heat you got towards the bottom of that water pan you know the more the metal is going to start breaking down so the, the deflector plate hits that the heat hits the deflector plate and it goes over to the sides and it works its way up the interesting thing about it is the deflector plate wears out you get you a new one okay but that deflector plate should last you a very very uh long time let me show you how i normally have my setup in the firebox my cooks usually don't run no more than 10 hours you know if i'm cooking more than 10 hours yeah you know, i'm cooking for people okay but if i'm just cooking for myself no more than 10. in this bad boy i've done briskets they run me seven hours in the offset as well you know i could do briskets in there they come out super tender in about seven hours uh so seven hours eight hours ten hours of cook time the way i normally set this up i'll have the 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 charcoal in the center and i'll have it blocked off and i'll put roughly maybe I don't know 10 pounds of charcoal in it and you know which is you know a small bag and just light the the front of it and it'll burn all the way through and I usually run my smokers at 275 and I've gotten way more than 10 hours out of it so uh, but yeah that's the that's the way I set it up I've seen other people set it up where they'll do an S shape in it and they'll set up these T plates where they'll have an S pattern inside of it and they'll start in one corner and it'll burn through uh, until it gets towards the end and you can get a lot of hours of, of cook time if you have it set up that way now do you have to use these tea plates no you don't have to use these tea plates uh, i don't think that they come standard with the with, the, with this smoker uh, what i've seen other people do is they'll just set up the charcoal and there, here's the other thing you you want to do when you're using the uh, you know this basket make sure you fill up the charcoal all the way to the top you got five inches to go all the way to the top you know that way you get the optimum performance of uh of the basket i've seen people they'll just do uh charcoal along the edges and then on the back edge and that gives them plenty of uh, of cook time and they'll just have it stacked towards you know towards the walls of the smoker of the firebox i should say and that'll work for you you know that'll work for you too um but should you get the tea plates yeah absolutely you know i like the tea plates uh you know they you know for the, my style of uh of smoking so if, if they're not an option to get, you know, go ahead and get them. I would. I highly recommend getting those tea plates. Um, the bottom of the charcoal basket is uh, is expanded metal. So when that expanded metal breaks down due to the heat, 
you can just replace it with another piece of expanded metal you could probably call chris or if you're somewhere local to chris you know he he, he can get you some uh, or heck i think they sell it at the hardware store you can probably buy it at at lowe's or at home depot as as well you know that expanded metal but that's pretty much it for the for the firebox guys very well built design uh for it it's also insulated the doors are insulated the the walls of it are, are insulated with that military grade insulation so so that's it for this portion of the video guys uh if you're interested in watching the next one it'll probably pop up right there in that corner or maybe over here in this corner and it'll take you to the next uh video part of this playlist but before you go guys do me a favor uh hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also don't forget to visit my uh jpbarbecue.com store it's where i got your favorite barbecue products and sauces you know visit the website you know you see something there you like you know get you some uh, okay but besides that hope you guys enjoy the next video